What's up everyone, welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to mix your vocals again. It's an update from the last video. It's a lot better this time though. So uh, let's get right into it and uh, check out what we got. So I opened the project on FL Studio 20. Gotta love it, gotta love it. Before we start, I'm gonna show you how the end product's gonna sound, if you have a decent microphone and interface, of course. And then I'm gonna show you the mixer tracks. So, uh, let's go. Jean, wake up. I'm going crazy on my own, I don't need nobody. Got that money on my mind, I don't need shot. I am ballin', they used to laugh at the grind, now they callin'. Very nice, very good, very nice, you know. It sounds good, in my opinion. I like the preset. So now I'm gonna show you what's on the mixer track and all of that. So on the main mixer track, the main vocals, we of course have some autotune, some beautiful autotune pro. The key for this beat was C minor. Uh, retune speed is at five. I normally do it like around five or seven, but you can just choose what sounds good. After that, I use an EQ, beautiful EQ. Remove some of the lows some bad frequencies around uh, 229 and 523. Then around here, I removed some bad frequencies as well and boosted the highs around 12,000. You know, very good. Then we have the second EQ, just to remove a little bit more lows and more of these frequencies, basically. After that, we have a compressor. You know what a compressor is. I keep saying it every video. You know what a compressor is. But you know what a compressor is. If you don't look up a video, what is a compressor? Yeah, you can basically just see it. Threshold 42, attack 154, ratio eight, gain. Okay, I'm gonna explain why the gain is like this. So I record on a very low volume, basically, if you can see. The volume is pretty low, so I normally boost it with the gain. You can turn it down if it sounds too loud, of course. It looks very weird, but so be it. Then we have a release of 44 and the type is soft. Next plugin we have is the C6 stereo. This is a multi-band compressor. It just compresses some of the frequencies you want to. So yeah, I'm not gonna explain this all the way because you can just take a look and just, I don't know, make a screenshot or something. Then after that, we have another EQ. Very good, very good, very nice. I just removed some more frequencies like that I didn't like. After that, we have the sound goodizer. You gotta love sound goodizer still. C preset, one quarter. Good, very good. Then we have another EQ that removes more frequencies. Yeah, I remove a lot of frequencies. I use a lot of EQs. People are like, yo man, why are you losing? People are always like, yo man, why are you using that many EQs, man? And I'm like, I wanna remove what sounds sh you know? So yeah. That's basically why I do it. And then on the bus, as you can see down here, there's a line going to this channel. I have Fresh Air. If you don't know this plugin, it basically boosts like highs and a little bit of the mids and makes it like crispy. Don't know why it's not turned on. Oh well. Then we have a de -esser. This just removes the S sounds. Those are most of the time a bit too harsh. So around 9,918 type the bridge thing, um, yeah, just removes S sounds. Then we have another EQ. Yeah, this EQ is a bit weird, but it's an EQ, you know, just removes more frequencies that I don't like. Yeah, just listen to your vocals. And if you hear something you don't like, just remove it. Easy as that. We have another one, remove more frequency. Oh my God, very nice. Yeah, it looks weird, but it works, it works. Then we have another EQ so many EQs. Removed more of these frequencies and all that. Pretty as f Okay. Then we have a delay. So I used to use delay three, but now I use H delay from waves. The delay thingy here, I forgot what it's called, is on one point one. Wait, what's this? One, two, a half. I don't know what it is, but it's that. Then we turn on ping pong. So it goes from left to right and all that. Sh pretty, pretty, pretty. Then we have feedback around here uh, and we turn this lo-fi knob on as well, which sounds good. You have to turn this down by the way, analog. If you turn this on, it's gonna be like some static noise, but I forgot to turn it off. 
But yeah, then we have Valhalla Reaver. I love Reaver. So we're gonna mess with the pre delay. I put it on 11.36. Then the mix, I put on 4.6. Decay on 1.8. And I removed some low frequencies. It was like this, but I just put it like that. You know? Those are the main vocals. It's that easy. Now we have this. Hey, I'm going crazy on my own. I don't need nobody. Got that money on my mind. I don't need shoddy. I am balling. They used to laugh at the grind. Now they calling. Gotta worry by yourself. Cause you ain't doing well. I like it. I'll show you before and after um, when I finished it. Then we have the ad libs. These are the ad libs. For the ad libs, a good tip for ad libs is just sing some random melodies that sound well with the vocals and just be your own hype man and just sometimes repeat some words, sometimes just add some Whoa. Yeah, that. It's pretty easy. So on the ad lib chain, I have the exact same thing as the main vocals, but on the bus, so if you look here. I added some things. So I added a flanger. Uh, I think it's the double trouble preset. You just click it, done. You put it a little bit less than all the way. Uh, then what I also added was a little bit more reverb on this one, pretty good. And then a stereo shaper, just to make it a little bit more wider because if your vocals, main vocals and your ad libs are on the same thing, basically, if you know what I mean, I don't know if, how to explain it. If they're on the same, yeah, if they're on the same thing, it doesn't sound good. So you want your ad libs to be a little bit wider. So I just make it wider. That's it. And then we have a convolver. It just slowly reverbs in from this to this. So you have like a rise. A lot of people in the underground do that. So uh, I just added it as well. Then for the second one, I added a chorus. I forgot which preset it was. And I added some reverb. The reverb on this ad lib chain is the same as the main vocals, but you can also make it more or less however you want. Then I added a panomatic. It makes your vocals go from right to left or the other way around, whatever you want. Just same as panning. Yeah, you can just copy these settings if you don't want to do it yourself, I guess. And then it's gonna sound like this. Pretty vocals. <laughs> Pretty vocals. Okay, sorry. Hey, I'm going crazy on my own. I don't need nobody. Got that money on my mind. I don't need shot. I am balling. They used to laugh at the grind. Now they calling. Gotta worry by yourself. Cause you ain't do so now we're gonna do the before and after. So this one is with effects and this one is without. Hey, I'm going crazy on my own. I don't need nobody. Got that money on my mind. I don't need shot. I am balling. They used to laugh at the grind. Now they calling. And then with the beat, it sounds like this. I'm going crazy on my own. I don't need nobody. Got that money on my mind. I don't need shot. I am balling. They used to laugh at the grind. Now they calling. Gotta worry by yourself. So yeah, it sounds a lot better with the beat set on. So those are basically all the vocals. What I also wanted to say is that I'm dropping an album on my birthday. My birthday is the 27th of July. So it's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna be very cool. It's gonna be with English and Dutch songs combined. Uh, I think there's gonna be like three Dutch songs and the rest is gonna be English. So I'm pretty hyped for that. That's basically the video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you wanna download this preset, it's in the description. Yeah, have a great day and try to stay positive because if you're positive, you're gonna attract positive things. And that's, <laughs> that's what we like, man. Positivity. Okay, yeah, have a good one. Peace.